All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about all the things in the new coming soon trailer that Ward Gaming has released here. This has leaks about or stuff about the Christmas event, the Christmas auction, uh, new game modes coming, and uh, new camos, new tanks, all that sort of stuff. So we're just going to go through the video here frame by frame basically with some pictures here of everything interesting, um, and we'll just talk about it real quick here. So the first thing up we have is a new E50M camo. This camo looks awesome. It has a cool animation too. Uh, whenever you kill someone, I believe, uh, which looks awesome. So that's a really good camo like that. Uh, we also have a camo here for this is the Kyler. Um, this, uh, this camo is okay. It doesn't look the greatest to me, but you know, it's all, all right, I guess. But then we have a really cool camo here for the object 268 v4 this camo looks pretty awesome i'm really liking this one um i'll see if i can get it you know how much gold it costs or anything like that but this is a good looking camo i like that we then have the tiger p which also another pretty awesome camo i like this one a lot as well it's got like the rocket launcher on top which is pretty uh solid then we have here i think this is the is this the swear i don't remember which tank this is i think it's that though but this camo is decent here too um uh, it's not my favorite, but it's not too bad either. Then we have a pretty awesome one for the T28 Defender here with these things on the side also that like fill up, um, I guess when you shoot your gun, maybe as you reload, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, cool animation on them though uh, in a pretty solid camo. Then we have the event camos for the mini event. We'll get to that here in a minute with Arnold and the other person. <laughs> I don't remember her name or anything, but uh, so, you know, some camos with them as well. Got to get the Arnold camo, of course. Um, then we have the mini event here, like I was talking about. You can just get a little bit of gold boosters, the camos, background, uh, and a few boosters um, as well. So, you know, it's just a quick mini event. These are usually super easy to complete, and they're just for fun. Uh, so that's not the main Christmas event, of course. Uh, but this event is going to be here as well, just to get those quick little rewards. Um, then we can go on here to the beginning of the actual Christmas event, the main event uh, of Christmas time for World of Tanks, and they don't show the first five rewards, so I don't know what those are, but I kind of just paused it here. You can see the rewards aren't really anything special, just some gold boosters, some boosters, camouflage, really only boosters, and a camo, and then you get 25 gold um, uh, gold boosters, which is actually pretty good, you know, minimum 250 gold right there. If you play tier 10 and stuff, you can get maybe up to like, you know, to uh, 500 gold max, but you know, probably like three to 400. Um, but then the two main rewards, the snow globe and the type 62. Now, normally each year you can't get both of these tanks if you grind enough and, or both these things, if you grind enough, um, I'm definitely going for the snow globe first because I already have the type 62 and I would recommend everyone go for the snow globe first. We don't know a hundred, uh, well, everything about the snow globe yet though, so I won't recommend that yet, but we'll talk about it when the event actually comes up. Uh, because the snow globe usually has tier 10s in it, and you're a guaranteed tank. So I would definitely go over that over the Type 62. Type 62 is a great and a fun tank, so if you can get that as well afterwards, I would recommend doing that. This will all do, hopefully maybe it can be uh, redeemed for gold or something, or at least some credits, you know. Um, but hopefully it's gold. But that's what I would recommend doing with the Christmas event, is going for the snow globe first, and then if you can, get the Type 62 as well. But then they do show us a snapshot here of the snow globe and some of the tanks inside. We have the Karo 45T, which is awesome. The main event tank, the Sturve K, which of course, if you get 10 snow globes, you guarantee to get it. Of course, it's very hard to get 10 snow globes, uh, but you know, if you do get 10 snow globes, you are guaranteed to get it. Um, we also have some other tanks in here, like past previous year's uh, Christmas tanks, like the VK, the AMX, the Concept, uh, T22. But then also, they have some tier 9s and some tier 8s in here, which... I think this is, it's always been tier 10s before, if I was mistaken. No, you can get the Smasher in this before, I remember that. So never mind, never mind, that's wrong. But this is the tanks they're showing. Normally there's, I think, more than this. And there's also normally, a, there used to be at least a gold reward. So this may not be everything that's in the snow globe, just what they're wanting to show us, because they're all OP tanks on here. Um, but yeah, that's so far what we have about the snow globe. Biggest reward I would want to get in here, just because I don't have them, and stuff, would be the Karo and the Sturve K. As well, I want the AMX uh, as well, uh, but that's really the only other tank I want. Maybe the Conf Panzer, just because that's kind of a rare tank. Uh, but yeah, that is what we have in the Snow Globe this year. Hopefully, it's gold compensation as well if you already have the tank. 
So now moving on uh, to the Sturve K right here where it has a pretty awesome camouflage on it with that beautiful animation that the Minotauro has with those rockets as well, which is pretty awesome. Then just one last uh, small thing for, oh, well, actually there's one more, never mind. But there's just this little like uh, snowball uh, or not snowball, what am I saying? Snowman little guy that can, you can put on your tank that like does animations when you kill a tank or get shot or something like that. You know, nothing too interesting. But then we have the auction. Yes, the Blitz Auction, they are just showing us two tanks. Normally there's like 20, so there's a ton more. But they are showing two tanks that will be in the Blitz Auction. The Chieftain, which is always in the uh, Blitz Auction and always a really great price. And the AMX MLE. I will definitely try to get the AMX MLE if I don't get it in the snow globe. Um, but yeah, there's going to be tons more tanks. I'll have a video about the auction probably within the next week or two. Uh, just kind of what I think the auction will be like this year, what tanks are going to be in there. Make sure you guys get enough gold and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, Blitz Auction is coming back, of course. Then we have some PDR tanks. So new tanks for the, or new uh, graphics for the AMX 50B, the uh, low, ugh, the Lurver, the uh, IS-3, I believe that's the IS-3, um, and then we have boss mode coming back to the game, not sure when it's coming back, but I would assume probably here in the next couple weeks or around Christmas time, we have boss mode coming back, so that's everything in the new coming soon video, um, pretty excited for the Christmas event, the new tanks coming, I like a lot of those camos are looking pretty good, boss mode coming back, which I'm very excited about, Love that game mode. And so, yeah, lots of cool stuff coming out. I'll have a video about the new line that they uh, showed us as well soon with the new spotting mechanism, probably either today or tomorrow, and some videos about some other tanks that will be coming up in the game. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates about all the events, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.